Welcome back to Forex Professional Training in Financial Markets. Andrew's pitchfork failure, respond and warning lines will be studied in this session. Failure in Andrew's pitchfork. In an Andrew's pitchfork pattern, if a price crosses the third pivot line after it has touched the first pivot line, then any buy signal would be invalid in a bullish pattern. On the other hand, if a price passes the third pivot line after it has touched the first pivot line, then any sell signal would be unreliable. In another failure condition, in a bullish format, if a price touches the third pivot line after it has met the first pivot line, followed by another wave over the third pivot line, then crossing the third pivot line does not produce any sell signals. In a bearish format, if price goes near the third pivot line after it has met the first pivot line, followed by another wave lower than the third pivot line, then crossing the third pivot line does not produce any buy signals. A bearish example on MetaTrader 4 illustrates the first failure format. After a price has crossed the third pivot, there would not be any sell signal on this pattern. In another example, on an upward trend, a pattern could not create any buy signals after the price has crossed the third pivot line towards the bottom. The third failure format is formed when a price oscillates between the third and first pivot lines, followed by a movement towards the trigger line. In a bullish trend, if a price does not cross the trigger line, and returns towards the top and touches the third pivot line, even if eventually price crosses the trigger line towards the bottom, a sell signal will not be valid or reliable. In a bearish format, if a price does not pass the trigger line and returns towards the bottom and touches the third pivot line, though price passes the trigger line towards the top, a buy signal will not be true or credible. A bullish example shows that the third failure type did not form, thus a sell signal was produced after the price had crossed the trigger line. The fourth failure on Andrew's pitchfork patterns forms whenever price crosses a trigger line, then returns to it. In a bullish trend, if a price passes the trigger line towards the bottom and it reverses its direction towards the top, after crossing the trigger line, followed by a reversal trend, even if the price declines lower than the trigger line, then a sell signal would not be valid anymore. In a bearish trend, if a price passes the trigger line towards the top, it reverses its direction towards the bottom, after crossing the trigger line, followed by a reversal trend. Even if the price rises higher than the trigger line, then a buy signal would not be reliable anymore. In the previous example, candles could be formed above the trigger line, so a sell signal is valid. Small Andrews Pitchfork Inside a Main Pattern If a smaller Andrews Pitchfork pattern forms inside another Andrews Pitchfork pattern, there would be some advantages, such as SL would decrease, TP would increase, Another confirmation on defined signal. A small bearish pattern forms inside a main bearish pattern, while a small bullish pattern would be in a bigger bullish pattern. Small patterns can be detected in shorter time frames. An example shows how to find a smaller pattern. On a downtrend, a buy signal was produced. If a trader chooses a shorter time frame, there would be another small Andrews pitchfork pattern with a downward trend. After the trigger line was crossed towards the top, a buy signal was generated and the trader could place a buy order with SL price under the last valley. After small fluctuations, price has reached the desired TP price and it continued its uptrend towards TP price of the main pattern. Warning line in an Andrews pitchfork pattern, a trader can measure the distance between the third and the first pivot lines, called R. 
In a bullish type, three parallel lines can be drawn under the third pivot line. In a bearish type, three parallel lines can be placed over the third pivot line. The gap between each line equals R. Each line may have considerable effect on a market price movement. Respond line. If the second and third pivots are connected by a line, then the direct distance between this line and the first pivot can be measured, known as L. Three parallel lines with a line between the second and third pivots can be placed alongside the pattern with L distance from each other. It is assumed that a market price would change its trend near these lines. In an example, a pattern was drawn on a downtrend. In the MetaTrader 4 platform, a downward pattern was drawn and a trader could specify warning lines by placing the copy format of the pattern over it. The first line of the copy pattern on the third line of the main pattern. As the price increased, the second line of the copy pattern did not have a significant effect, while the price fluctuated as it reached the third line. In another example, a trader could draw a trend line to connect the second and third pivots. Then, a direct trend line could be placed between this line and the first pivot, known as L. A trader could copy and paste the trend line, L, by holding control on the keyboard and double clicking on the L. Four duplicate L lines could be placed on the first pivot line after the connecting line between the second and third pivot. Market price trend did not show any considerable change on L1 and L3, while the price increased over the second pivot line and returned to the first pivot line on L2. Warning and respond lines do not guarantee that there would be a trend movement, while traders must consider them as effective spots on a market price trend. That concludes this session. Until next time and another session, take care.